Today we have the Champions League, but clubs don't qualify based on where they finished in the league. No, no, no. Clubs will qualify for our Champions League based on the league's golden boot winners and top goal scorers from last season. Let me show you how it's gonna work. As we know, there is a total of 18 European first divisions that are in FC24. So we're dividing those 18 divisions into two pots, nine and nine. The pot one leagues are the more prominent European leagues in football. England, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Portugal, Netherlands, Belgium, and Turkey. So the leagues from pot one will have two clubs qualify based on their top two goal scorers. That will give us 18 clubs with 18 top strikers. And the nine pot two leagues are the more lesser leagues around Europe. Austria, Denmark, Norway, Poland, Ireland, Romania, Scotland, Sweden, and Switzerland. So the leagues from pot two will have the top club qualify based on their top goal scorer from last season. And that will give us another nine clubs with nine top quality strikers for a total of 27. Oh, sorry, you don't know how to do math. Champions League has 32 clubs, not 27. Yes, I know this. We already discussed this before and I have a solution. There is another 30 13 European clubs that are in the rest of the world section that aren't part of their leagues because their leagues aren't in FC24. So the top five goal scorers from those 13 clubs from last season will also qualify their club for the Champions League for a grand total of 32. We're basically gonna have the top 32 European goal scorers from last season play against each other. This will be absolute madness because each team is gonna have insane firepower up front. So let's go and find our top 32 goal scorers and golden boot winners that will qualify their clubs for our Champions League. But before we do that, please hit the like button button for me the subscribe button as well with the little noti bell we're chasing 200,000 subscribers if you could help me out and hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it it would mean the world to me let's go starting in alphabetical order in the austrian bundesliga a pot two league so you only get one club with the golden boot winner and that was guido bergstaller with sk rapid vienna he scored 21 goals last season he won the golden boot so sk rapid vienna is going to qualify from austria we go to belgian a pot one league so they get the top two goal scorers and they were hugo Kuipers from Ghent, so Ghent qualifies. He popped in with 27 goals last season. And Circle Bruges with Ayas Uyeda, who scored 22. So from Belgium, we got Ghent and Circle Bruges that are coming to play in our Champions League. From Belgium, we go to Denmark, a pot two league, so they only get the top goal scorer, the golden boot winner, and he was from Mitziland. Gustav Isaksen, 18 goals for Mitziland, so Mitziland qualifies. And now we're off to the Premier League, a pot one league, so they get the top two goal scorers. And I mean, it, everyone knows it was early Holland last year, but then it was also Harry Kane for Tottenham. Um, Harry Kane doesn't play for Tottenham anymore, but he did score 30 goals for them last season, and he finished in second, and since the Premier League gets two clubs, whether or not Tottenham has Harry Kane anymore, Tottenham is still qualifying. Come on, Spurs! I can't believe I just said, come on, you Spurs, in an Arsenal kit. From the Premier League, we go to France to Ligue 1, and it's another pot one league, so they get the top two goal scorers. Kylian Mbappe with PSG, so PSG is qualifying. He scored 29 goals for them last year, and also... Alexander Lacazette with Lyon is going to qualify because he scored 27 goals for them last year. And Lyon this year, I mean, they're just atrocious, but they're in. The German Bundesliga, another pot one league, so the top two goal scorers make their team qualify. It was Christopher Nkunku last year with Leipzig, 16 goals. He doesn't play for Leipzig anymore, but he made sure that Leipzig qualifies. And the other one was Nicholas Fulkrug with Werder Bremen. Uh, he also doesn't play for Werder Bremen anymore. He plays at Borussia Dortmund, but it's going to be Leipzig and Bremen that qualify. Qualify. And from Germany, we go to Italy to CDR, ah, another pot one league, so they get the top two goal scorers that will make their team qualify. Napoli with Victor Osimen, he made sure that they qualified. He banged in 26 goals last season. And Lataro Martinez with Inter Milan was a close second with 21. So it's Napoli and Inter Milan that qualify for our Champions League. And now we're going to the Dutch AD Divisie in Netherlands, another pot one league. The top two strikers make their clubs qualify. Xavi Simons, PSV, 19 goals goals last season. PSV is in. And the other one, Anastasios Duvikas from FC Utrecht. Yes, also 19 goals. So <laughs> it's PSV and Utrecht that qualify. Ajax doesn't get in. Neither does Feyenoord or AZ Alkmaar. Off we go to Norway from the Netherlands. A pot two league. So the top club, the top goal scorer makes their club qualify. It was Amal Pellegrino. It usually always is him in Norway. Pellegrino is like the most underrated Norwegian player ever. <laughs> For Bodo Glimt, he scored 25 goals. Bodo Glimt is in. From Norway, we go to Poland, the Polish Ekstraklasa, who was the leading goal scorer from last season because they're a pot two league, so only the top goal scorer gets in. Well, it was Mark Gwal with Jagalonia Bialystok. <laughs> and I believe he actually doesn't play there anymore. He plays for Legia Warszawa now, but he made sure that Jagalonia got in. So, it's Jagalonia that qualifies for our Champions League because Mark Gwal uh, scored a bunch of goals for them last season. So far, I'm loving how many random teams are actually qualifying for our Champions League. Like, FC U 
Utrecht and Werder Bremen and now Jagalonia from Poland but from Poland we're going to Portugal the Liga Portugal a part one league so they get the top two clubs it was Medi Taremi the Iranian uh, from FC Porto and Gonzalo Ramos from Benfica doesn't play at Benfica anymore he plays at PSG but he made sure that uh, Benfica qualify so it will be Porto and Benfica that are qualified for our Champions League from Portugal Ireland is also going to have one team participating they're a part two league so they only get the top goal scorer the golden boot winner and it was Aiden Kina from Sligo Rovers he banged in with 18 goals last year so Sligo Rovers are going to qualify the Romanian Super League is also going to have one club qualify based on the top goal scorer of last season and it was Marco Dugancic from Rapid Bucharesti who scored 22 bangers last year Rapid Bucharesti welcome off to Scotland we go the Scottish Premiership a pot two leagues so they only get the top goal scorer that'll make their club qualify it used to be a pot one league but then you guys in the comments really decided that it should be Belgium there instead of Scotland so we switched it up so now Scotland is only going to get the one club instead of the two and it was Celtic Kyogo Furuhashi 27 goals last season Celtic is most welcome España La Liga the top two goal scorers will make their clubs qualify they are a pot one league so they get two clubs and it was Robert Lewandowski with Barcelona 23 goals last season and Karim Benzema with Real Madrid who is not there anymore but it will be Barcelona and Real Madrid that get in Sweden will also have a club participate based on their top goal scorer of last season they're a pot two league so they only get the one club and it will be Alexander Yeremeyev from Hakin so Hakin is going to qualify he scored 22 goals for them last year and I also don't think he's there anymore I think he went to Panathinaikos but either way Hakin is moving on the Swiss Super League is also going to have a club play in our Champions League but it'll only be the one club because they're a pot two league and the top scorer it was Jean-Pierre and Same from Young Boys so Young Boys are going to qualify he scored 21 goals last year for them Cedric Itten I mean a second he's also from Young Boys so we're going to have both and Same and Cedric Itten play in our Champions League they had a combined 40 goals last Last year for young boys that's insane and the turkish super league will also have two clubs participate based on their top two goal scorers of last season it was enter valencia with fenerbahce that won the golden boot in turkey last year 29 goals so fenerbahce is in and the second one fati karum guruk karum guruk is gonna qualify over galatasaray over besiktas so it will be fenerbahce and karum guruk that qualify so we know the 27 clubs that have qualified but we need to find five more clubs to make it a grand total of 32 and that we will do through the rest of the world section the top five goal scorers from those 13 european clubs in the rest of the world section will make their team qualify for our champions league i can tell you that the first club will be slavia praha from czech republic because vaklav Jurečka last year scored 20 goals for them so yeah slavia praha is in and hajduk split is also in because marco livaya scored 19 goals for them last season so hajduk split gets in over dinamo zagreb aki athens is also going to join us in the champions league because they had levi garcia that scored 14 goals for them last season. I know that Cedric Bacambo scored 18 for Olympiacos, but Olympiacos is not in the game. So we got to take the next layer down. And it was Levi Garcia with Athens. They qualify. Sparta Praha from Czech Republic will also qualify because they had Jan Kuchta that scored 14 as well, just like Levi Garcia. So Sparta Praha is in. And the last and final club that'll qualify for our Golden Boot Champions League will be another Czechia club. It will be Victoria Polzen because they have Thomas Chori that scored 13 goals for them last year as well all the other clubs actually that i went through like shaktar dinamo kiev etc they had nobody that scored more than these i promise you i went through all the stats and standings so victoria Pulzen gets in we got our 32 clubs we got our 32 top goal scorers so let's go and seed every single club and find out who's going to be playing who all the 32 qualifying clubs are on the wheel with their top strikers so let's spin the wheel four times and find our first four clubs for group a group a the first club is going to be the polish side jagalonia to join Jagalonia in Group A as the second club. It will be, it will be PSV. We have Jagalonia, we have PSV, the third club for Group A. Oh man, is it Ghent or is it Rapid Vienna? It will be Ghent. And to finish off Group A, this is definitely not a group of death. This group is wide open. And now we got Alexander Lacazette and Lyon. Group B is going to have four clubs. Every group is going to have four clubs. And the first club in Group B is the Turkish side, Karum Guruk. To join Karum Guruk in Group B as the second club. It will be a German side, Werder Bremen. We got Karum Guruk, we got Bremen. Who is the third club for Group B? The Croatian side, High Duke Split. And to finish off Group B, the fourth club and final club for Group B, it is Benfica. They're definitely the favorites here. I mean, they have to get out of this group, right? We know our first two groups. Let's find the first team for Group C. Sligo Rovers. Who is going?
going in with Sligo Rovers in Group C. Is it going to be a big team? It is. <laughs> it's going to be PSG. PSG got so lucky with this. And to join Sligo Rovers and PSG in Group C. Oh, <laughs> we got Man City. I spoke too soon for PSG. They're not so lucky after all. Now, can we get another giant in Group C? I really feel bad for, for Sligo Rovers. And I kind of feel bad for Circle Bruges as well. But you know what? Every single club has a top goal scorer. So maybe things are going to be different. Three groups down. We're looking for the first team in Group D. It will be FC Mittyland. And who is joining Mittyland in Group D as the second club? Is it Tottenham or Leipzig? It's going to be Leipzig. We got Mittyland. We got Leipzig. The third club there. Oh, it's going to be Tottenham, but without Harry Kane. Can we get another big side here? We have Leipzig and Tottenham in the same group. Fenerbahce might give Tottenham and Leipzig a run. Four groups down, four to go. First club for Group E. It will be the Swiss side Young Boys. And to join Young Boys in Group E. Is it Inter Milan? It is. It's Lotaro Martinez with Inter Milan. Young Boys inter milan and the third club is gonna be a czech side it's gonna be victoria Pilsen. last team for group e to join victoria present Pilsen. is it barcelona no it's the scottish side celtic inter milan is definitely the favorites but i don't know who's gonna be the second club three more groups guys we need the first team for group f who is it gonna be is it the czechia side it is it is slavia praha the second club to join group f with slavia praha is it another czechia side it is it's gonna be sparta praha we have Slavia Praha, we have Sparta Praha, and now, and now we got Napoli. <laughs> Napoli is there. Both Slavia Praha and Sparta Praha are tough teams, and now we got the Greek side AEK Athens. I think Napoli's in for a test here. Looking for the first team for Group G. We still have Real Madrid and Barcelona guys, by the way, but it will be the Austrian side Rapid Vienna. And to join Rapid Vienna in Group G, it will be, it's not gonna be Barcelona, but it will be Porto. The third club for Group G to join Rapid Vienna and Porto. It's going to be the Romanian side, Rapid Bucharesti. And to join Rapid Bucharesti, Rapid Vienna, and Porto, it will be Bodo Glimt. Wow. That is also a very interesting group. Porto is probably the favorites, but the other three sides, I think anyone can make it out. Which now means the last group is automatically decided because there's only four clubs remaining. And Barcelona and Real Madrid are going to be in the same group together with FC Utrecht and Haken from Sweden. I kind of feel bad for Utrecht and Haken, but every Everyone has a top goal scorer on their club. So maybe things are going to be a little different. Maybe we're going to have some fairy tale runs. We usually do. As you guys can see, all the teams have been seated in their groups. So let's go to the end of the group stage matches and see if there's any upsets and see who's making it out to the round of the 16. Let's go. And let me tell you, man, I knew we're going to have some random stuff happen. In group A, it was PSV and Jagiellonia from Poland. Poland, stand up. Ghent is in third. They're eliminated and Lyon with Lacazette. Oh my gosh, they went winless. All three and three, just like they're having this season, a horrendous performance in Group A. In Group B, it was Benfica and Werder Bremen that are moving on. Hajduk split just a little short and Karum Guruk from Turkey, they, they went winless. All one and five, uh, they only scored five goals on one point. Not good enough. Group C, we had no surprises. It was Manchester City and PSG on top of Circle Bruges and Sligo Rovers. And Group D, um, that was a close group, guys. And it had some surprises as well. First of all, it's RB Leipzig that's moving on. They topped the group on nine points. Fenerbahce in second, also on nine points. Mitzuland came in third uh, on seven points. They're eliminated. And Spurs, one, three, and two. Spurs dead last. Still can't win a trophy. Group E saw the Italian giant Inter Milan alongside the Scottish side Celtic progress. Group F, it was Napoli as expected that topped the group. And I mean... AEK Athens beat out everyone else. They beat out the two Czech sides, Slavia Praha and Sparta Praha. Group G, as expected, we saw Porto top the group on 12 points, but Rapid Vienna from Austria also on 12 points. They came in second. Bodo Glimt and Rapid Bucharesti from Romania. <laughs> and finally in Group H, no surprises either. Real Madrid topped the group on 15 points. Barcelona on nine points. They kept it quite close with Haken, who came in third on five points. And Utrecht went absolutely winning 
winless and they're going home so in the round of the 16 we're gonna have some interesting matches we have a couple fairy tale runs guys it will be rb leipzig versus the greek side athens benfica will take on barcelona benfica is definitely cursed they're probably not getting by barca man city is gonna play fenerbahce that's gonna be interesting real madrid versus psg another massive clash the portuguese side porto will take on the scottish side celtic napoli will take on the german side Werder bremen psv will go against rapid vienna from austria and inter milan will take on jagelonia from poland but before we go and see who goes into the last eight the quarterfinals we got to keep track of the golden boot possible winner in the champions league right so far it is irving lozano from psv on seven goals in six matches with medi taremi from porto also on seven goals in six matches the round of the 16 is over who is moving into the quarterfinals the round of eight i can tell you that rb leipzig will be there they beat out athens 6-3 on aggregate athens run comes to an end in the round of the 16 barcelona is also going home by the way guys uh benfica beat barcelona 5-5 on aggregate but benfica won on away goals man city absolutely annihilated fenerbahce 5-0 on aggregate so fenerbahce is going home and manchester city with holland is obviously advancing and real madrid is also going home at the hands of psg pfg psg and killing mbappe 5-2 on aggregate mediterranean and porto beat out celtic 6-3 on aggregate so celtic is also going home porto is advancing napoli took care of Werder Bremen 4-2 on aggregate. Napoli is also advancing. PSV and Herving Lozano are also moving into the quarterfinals. They beat out Rapid Vienna 5-1 on aggregate. And finally, some unfortunate news. Jagiellonia from Poland. Their run ends in the round of the 16. It was a good run. They made it out of the group stage, but they got absolutely smashed by Inter Milan 6-1 on aggregate. This is the way the quarterfinals, the round of eight is looking like. It will be Leipzig versus Benfica, Man City versus PSG. That's massive. Porto versus Napoli and PSV will take on Inter Milan. The quarterfinals are over. Who is moving into the semis? The last four. I can tell you that Benfica, they're still cursed. They lost 3 2 on aggregate to Leipzig. And PSG with Kylian Mbappe, they're also going home, guys. They lost to Man City 4 3 on aggregate. While Porto with Medi Taremi is moving on to the last four. They beat out Napoli 3 2 on aggregate. But PSV's and Irving Lozano's run comes to an end in the quarterfinals, guys. They lost 4 2 on aggregate to Inter Milan. So in the semifinals, we're going to have Leipzig take on Manchester City, while Porto and Medi Taremi are going to take on Lotaro Martinez and Inter Milan. The semis are completed, guys. Who is going to the final of the Golden Boot Champions League? Manchester City will be there. They absolutely destroyed Leipzig 6-2 on aggregate. But the other matchup of Inter Milan and Porto, I can officially say that we have a fairy tale run. Porto, I mean, they beat Inter Milan 5-1 on aggregate. So the final is going to be Man City versus Porto. Porto. And to make it even more exciting, Holland and Taremi, they're both tied on goals going into the final. Holland has nine goals in 12 matches. Medi Taremi also has nine goals in 12 matches. This is unbelievable. Who is going to win it all? And we are going to watch the final, guys. Manchester City versus Porto at the Estadio Metropolitano. That's where we are. That's where the final is going to be. It is kickoff time. It is City versus Porto. This is going to be extremely interesting. I am excited to see who is going to bang in some goals here. I would assume that, you know... Man City are definitely the favorites. They've been progressing quite easily through this entire tournament. But hey, Porto deserves to be here as well. Steven Eustachio, the Canadian, is there. Back to Medi Taremi. And they're in. Eva Nilsson. Oh! Porto take the lead. Porto take the lead. They came to spoil the party. What a goal. It is 1-0. Porto! This is an unbelievable header. Accuracy, precision. My gosh. Ederson has no chance. 20 minutes in and Manchester City are behind, guys. I mean, Manchester City is holding the possession, but they're not really creating anything. Erling Haaland has not seen the ball at all. And we've played basically... 35 36 minutes here not much going on almost at half time pepe intercepts the throw in pepe you're playing a nice through ball to jao mario mario ederson has to collect even though porto hasn't had much of the ball they've had the better chances guys they've had the better chances bernardo silva back heels to to holland to alvarez to phil foden and we are at halftime. An extremely disappointing half for Manchester City. Second half is underway. Taremi leads the kickoff. Ivan Nilsson 
He is hard tackled by Holland, and Holland gets a yellow. That's the most he's done all match. He hasn't done anything. Jack Grealish. He has to backtrack to Rodri. Inside to Bernardo Silva. 70 minutes in here. Bernardo Silva. Pepe is blocked. Foden. Foden equalizes. They're not even going to celebrate. What a strike by Phil Foden. Unlucky for Porto. One shot, one goal from Manchester City. I feel like Porto deserves to be ahead in this match. Well, Taremi and Holland are tied for the golden boot still. Taremi carries. João Mario. What a... Eva Nilsson. Ah! 80th minute, Ivan Nielsen, he's got a brace, Porto, 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 take a 2-1 lead, unbelievable, what a goal, what a cross, what a smash, oh my, that's got to be the goal of the tournament, that is unstoppable, 2-1 Porto, City is making a change, Kyle Walker is coming off, Mateo Kovacic is coming on, last attack here for Manchester City, oh, and they could be in, they could be Man City could be in. This has to be the last attack. Is, is it over? It's over! It's over! Manchester City loses the Champions League Golden Boot Final. Porto, 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 Porto win the Champions League again. Porto is celebrating. Unfortunately, Holland or Taremi did not score. So they ended up staying tied for the Golden Boot. So they're going to share the Golden Boot, which is fine. But Porto beat Manchester City. Ivan Nielsen, man of the match for me. But Porto with Pepe, the 40-year-old Pepe. He's, I think he's... He's 40 now. I th he's got to be 40. They're going to lift the Golden Boot Champions League trophy. And Porto are your Champions League winners, baby. An absolutely incredible fairy tale run by Porto. Medi Taremi, uh, Erling Holland. Those were the top two goal scorers. They were deadly the entire tournament. I mean, you got to give your hat off to Porto, though. They came and they did their business. They deserve the title. As always, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay happy and stay healthy. And always keep smiling let me know how your club did in the comments also let me know what you thought of porto's fairy tale run and what you thought of man city bottling the final that was absolutely incredible i can't believe this happened and of course let me know if you have any other cool ideas that you want to see on the channel let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace 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 peace